2715. I've been looking for you. <laughs> Chris? You need to run some tests, Karen. No, thanks. You gashed your hand wide open. Hours ago, so? Now it's completely healed. Don't you want to know what's going on inside your body? I already know, Chris. You shot me full of vampire syrup, and I love it. So what else is there? Okay, look, Wexler, I'm through playing games with you. Now, either you come with me right now, and we run the test that I want to run, or I'm going to find Frank, and I'm going to tell him what's happening to the woman he's sharing his bed with. You missed all the excitement. Yeah, what happened? Attempted robbery. Is everyone all right? Yeah, yeah, I guess. What are you doing here at this time of night? You, um, you know about computers, don't you? Yeah, I'm, I'm no expert, but I know my way around a keyboard. Well, that's good enough. For what? I need your help, Frank. Everything's falling apart in my, my life. My I'm losing my wife, my kid. I need your help. Dr. Collins? Rafe, how, how, did, how did you... Where... Never mind. Good idea. You got a minute? Some other time. You okay? No. Where's Lucy? Well, let's see. The last time I saw your cousin Lucy was in a hotel room with some other guy. Oh. Oh. You got the picture? Good. Good night, Rafe. Look, you know Lucy. So no matter what you saw, remember what you know, and you'll know things aren't what they seem. Just look inside yourself. Do you actually believe half the garbage that spews from your mouth? Or do you just like to hear yourself talk? Oh, Christina. Christina! Oh, excuse me. Get out of my way. That's my little girl. That's my daughter. Christina! Christina, it's mommy! Christina! All right, Ramsey. Tell Frank. Come on, do it. But please, let me be there to watch when he puts your face through the nearest window. Dr. And why would he do that? Because that's what will happen Dr. when James I tell him that you Reitzel. fill the syringe. Frank will jump to my side and defend me. You're sure about that? <laughs> he loves me. No, he loves Karen. And you and I both know that you're not quite Karen anymore, are you? You know, and, and maybe... You and Frank eventually tie the knot and have babies. And don't you think he might freak out when Junior's baby teeth come in all sharp and pointy? I'm not a vampire. No, not yet. But the serum was experimental. You could pop fangs and start craving blood any minute. Now, are you going to do what I ask? Are you going to run some tests, or should I go have a little chat with your boyfriend? Fine. Stop. You want a blood sample? Fine. Let's get this over with. Yes, ma'am. I had a feeling you'd see things my way. So Eve thinks you killed this woman's husband and then went after her. When she also thinks that I kidnapped women, make them fall in love with me, and then try to kill them. And, and she believes this? I don't know what she believes anymore. She's concerned for herself, she's concerned for the baby, and she has Kevin poisoning her mind. Hey, uh, Kevin is not a bad guy. Regardless, he... someone's feeding him lies. He believes it. And now there's a 10-foot wall between Eve and me. OK. All right, I'll do whatever I can to help you. Just say the word. I said the word. Computer. OK, all right. Now, this woman sent me these letters. I, Anne-Marie. And well, it's not Anne-Marie. I saw Anne-Marie die in Africa. So what you need is to find proof to corroborate your story. I need to find whoever's pretending to be Anne-Marie. Libby. Hey, I saw the light on. I'm sorry. Shh, 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 shh. I just put Danny down. Come on in. Come in. What's wrong? Nothing's wrong. I, I, I just think I left my 
sweater here, that's all. Really? I don't remember seeing a sweater here. Well, do you mind if I look around? I mean, it... It blends in with everything, and you, you could probably be staring at it and never know it was here. I'll be Livy, really quiet, I promise. Livy, you didn't really leave a sweater here, did you? No. You're right, I'm sorry. That was a really lame excuse. Um, Eve, I just needed someone to talk to, and there isn't anyone. Well, what about Jack? We broke up. Jack and I... <sighs> I'm so sorry, Livy. That's what I feel, so sorry and, and sad and alone. Well, hey, there's a lot of that going around right now. What? I... Oh, God, Eve, you and Ian? Look, I am so sorry. I'll just go. I'm, no, no, to... don't go. Because this way, at least, you know that the person you're talking to knows exactly what you're going through. I guess. Hey, Eve, is there anything I can do for you? Actually, there's one thing. Name it. Okay, but it's kind of a big favor. You have no idea how big until you have a child of your own. Hey, whatever it is, please. Okay. I really need to take a shower. And I'm afraid to leave Danny alone for one minute. You want me to watch him? Could you please, just five minutes? Yes, I would love Shh. to watch him. I'm sorry, okay, good, sorry. Thank you, thank you, thank Take you. all the time you need. I'm here, okay. okay? He's asleep right now. He should be no trouble at all. If you need anything, you just help yourself to whatever's in the fridge, okay? okay. okay. Thank you. <sighs> okay, relax. I am not going anywhere. I'll just... Get everything ready in the kitchen. message than that. I will die before I let you believe those lies. I believe everything I say, Kevin. You know that. Well, if I hear one more empty platitude about the power of love, I'm going to throw you off this bridge. I'm sick of it. I'm sick of everything. Look, all I can do is ask you the right questions. Now, did you talk to Lucy? Did you even give yes, her a chance I to Yes, I talked to her. The devil made her do it. Or, or rather, Caleb made her do it. Dead or alive, he's still her prime suspect. Well, what if she's not wrong? Really? Speaking as a vampire slayer? Ah, uh, speaking as someone who's had some experience. Well, we've all had some experience now, Rafe. We've all been through vampires in Transylvania and lightning bolts from the clear blue sky. But who are you, anyway? What? I don't understand. You show up here out of nowhere spouting out greeting card slogans, and all of a sudden, all of our lives suddenly hey, turn to hell. Kevin, I know you don't mean that. Well, you know, maybe Lucy's right. Maybe there is an evil force out there somewhere. That's good. At least and maybe to it's connected to our friend Rafe. Oh, no, no wait, that's crazy. Really? Well, it yeah. wouldn't be the first time evil showed up here pretending to be something else. What do we really know about you? I mean, except what you've told us. Any bag of magic tricks. Dr. Collins. You've got Lucy you. running around like Chicken Little, screaming that the sky is falling. Meanwhile, we're all looking up at the clouds and our lives are falling well, apart around us. Would you just listen to yourself for a second? Just maybe, just maybe, you put those wild ideas into Lucy's head. No, 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 just no, no, to get her distracted. No, that right? that's not Don't tell me what I know! Now, who are you? Duck! Answer me! Duck, I have to talk to you. Who the hell are you? Duck! Duck! Listen to me, I, I have to talk to you. It's about Christina. On the Doctors Without Limits website. We need to find her. We all work together in Africa. Well, so far, there's no record she even existed. So every trace of her life has been erased. 
Any idea by who? I don't know. The only man that hates me enough to do this would have been Harris. Well, that's a great scapegoat, but he's dead. Well, whoever did this did one hell of a job setting me up. How can I prove to Eve that I didn't murder anyone if there's no proof in the first place? Lucy thinks there's some... <coughs> there's some thing making this happen. Thing? I don't know. Some that Caleb left behind makes as much sense as everything else we do. All I know is when the woman I love is hurting, I do whatever I can just to make her feel better. Yeah? That's me. And you're saying I'm not like that? All I'm saying is you need to do whatever you can. Win or lose, whatever it takes, just, just go to her. Libby, what are you doing? Am I making too much noise? No, no, not, not at all. It's just that you don't have to do that. I know, I know, but taking care of Daniel all alone so hard. No, taking care of Daniel's not the hard part. It's trying to fit everything else into your day that's hard. But doing it all alone is not the way you planned, is it? I mean, should I ask? No. I don't want to go there, okay? Hey, I understand. No problem. You know, you think you know somebody inside and out, and then one day it turns out that you don't really know them as well as you thought you did. What did Ian do? I don't want to talk about it, okay? I, I don't want to talk about me. Let's just... Let's talk about you. What's going on with you and Jack? Reality, I guess. I think he just got sick of taking on all my baggage. It's strange, isn't it? You make this commitment to someone, and that means you have to accept everything about them, the good and the bad, on blind faith. I and then one day you get a good look at the bad. Yeah. I think that's what happened to Jack. And I can't blame him. I mean, I, I, I think he just saw who I was and decided He'd be better off without me. Well, I am not better off without Ian. I feel lost. Hey, I never said I felt better. Well, it sounds like the two of us are hoping that things will work out, right? Yeah. Um, yeah, I think there's a message on your machine. I saw the light blinking when you were in the shower, and I thought maybe Ian left a message. No, probably not. Oh, Eve, come on. There's only one way to find out, right? All right. Eve, pick up. I know you're there, and I won't let you leave me. I'll do what I have to, whatever it takes. You'll die first, do you hear me? What? I won't let it happen. I won't let you go, Lambert. Eve, are you okay? That wasn't him. That that wasn't Ian. That was. Did you? That was. That was him. That had to be him. He, you heard what he said, right? Yeah, yeah. So he said that, and he meant every word. Eve, what are you gonna do? I mean, you can't just ignore a message like that, can you? I mean, I know you love him and everything, but Eve, who are you calling? Eve. Scott. Hi, it's Eve. I need your help. I need a really big favor. I think you'd better leave. No, did you hear what I, I said? I heard you, Lucy, and I think you better no, go please, right now. Listen to me. It, it's Christina. I saw her. You Christina. know what? I think I better get out. Oh, no, you don't. I'm not done with you. Stop. Please listen to me. I please. listen to you, Lucy. I listen to you. What? Are you here to explain? Is that it? You were sad about Christina, so you took comfort in Ian? No, this is not about Ian. This is about Christina, Doc. I saw her. I saw her at the hotel. What? Doc, she was there. She was in this, this little red slicker, and, and I saw her, and, and I ran after her. She looked at me, and she smiled. I'd know those eyes anywhere. And, and then I went to get her, and all of a sudden she disappeared. She was just gone. My, my little baby was there. Right, Lucy. Lucy, I'm sorry. I don't know what it is that you saw. Don't touch me. Don't. I mean, you don't believe me, Lucy. do you? No, you don't. You're not even listening to me. I saw her, and you don't believe me. <sighs> Hi, I'm Jan Muller. All right, what do you want? To stop getting double stamp blood test orders from you? You're done already? Yeah. They're freaky, too. Have fun. Freaky? This can't be right. 
These numbers don't make any sense. They just... Unless Karen is... Unless Karen's mutating. It was the right thing, Eve. Yeah. I don't want to talk about this right now. Okay? Sure, whatever you say. I can't deal with company right now okay, at all. No problem. I'll take care of it. You even see us. What do you want me to do? Let him in. Hey, little one. What are you doing here? What are you doing here, Ian? Did you come a message? Yes, I did. Well, then you know how much I love you. I can't live with that kind of love anymore here. What, what kind of love? What is this? A restraining order? Come within 200 feet of me or the baby, and I will call the police. Don't do this. Please, just go. Danny. No, not one step closer. I will do whatever it takes. You can't threaten me. Threaten you? Just go, please. Libby, call 911. Put the phone down. I'm not here to hurt anybody. Okay. Go. Door's right there. I, I have no idea what this is about. But my love for you is stronger than this. I'll prove it to you. Please, just listen to me. No. No, you don't believe me, and you can't take that back. Oh, hold on. Christina, Lucy, tell us more about that. I saw her. I know I saw her at the hotel. She was alone. Julie wasn't alone. with her. Alone? In the middle of the night in a hotel, Lucy. I know. I know how it sounds. Well, it couldn't I... have been her. I know it was. I know it was my daughter. I would know her anywhere. You did this. What? First you show her a vision of her own death, and then the thing she wants most in the world? No, it's not that! I did see her! I would know my daughter, Doc. I saw her! Lucy, Scott has had a small army looking for Christina for over a year. They've never turned up a single clue. I don't care. Well, what possible reason would Julie have to bring her here now? I don't know. I don't know! I know, though, that I saw her. You know, Ian said the woman you saw has been dead for years, and that wasn't a hallucination. But what I saw, I saw Christina. You're making that out to be a hallucination. Why? Because it's me saying... That's not what I well, said. Then what is it? Are you, are you like the chief justice of the Supreme Court no, of the no, universe? Stop, stop. Do you guys what you not say? see what you're doing? <sighs> you're tearing at each other when you need each other most. Well, why don't you take your mystic self back to where you came from? Would you just, just leave my cousin alone? <sighs> you know what? I'll leave you both alone. How does that suit you? It suits me fine, because I'm sick of the Kovaches. And the Coes. Well, I'm sick of the Collinses. How's that? Lucy, go after No! Him. Why? He doesn't deserve me. You don't believe that? I don't. I... I don't know anything I believe anymore. Absolutely anything. And I do not have the person that I usually have to talk to when I need to find something, when I need to find myself. I don't have that anymore. Lucy, don't stop believing in him. I'm not... Talking just about him, Rafe. I happen to be talking about you too. Oh, but, but I came here to help. I... Is that what you call this? Is that what? Ever since you came here, everything is just a huge mess. Lucy. No, no. You stay away from me too. Don't you see? I want you to stay away. Don't help. Lucy, Thank you, but Lucy, no. Lucy, wait. Come on. <laughs> that went great. Come on, boss. Help me. Help them. Huh? I mean, show me a way that I can turn this whole... Wait a minute. Use my imagination, you said. <laughs> imagination, huh? Well, guess what, boss? If you give me permission to do exactly what it is I need to do, I, I think I can turn this whole thing around by tonight. 
Stay tuned for scenes from the next Port Charles. Tempted. Next Port Charles. Oh, Christina, I know what I saw. I know I... I saw you. And it was real. It was really you. Remember the truth, Eve. Your heart remembers. Beginning October 23rd, SoapNet will present a special rebroadcast of the haunting chapter of Port Charles' tainted love. SoapNet, the only TV and online network devoted to soaps and you.